our mission here was we're doing a, a, a joint training exercise with uh, with Alpha Company of the 401st, the Maynard Fire Department, the Stittville Fire Department, and aviators with the New York National Guard. The soldiers are going through a nine line class right now. Line eight, line Alpha, three. break. Line one. Some hoist work. No one actually having to do some loading, right. loading the helicopter while it's running. So they actually see what it's like and feel what it's like. So it's not a shock the first time it happens. Pretty much anytime we're out flying, we're doing some sort of medevac training, hoist work, just to practice your hover work, and the medic can gets to ride up and down on the hoist, the crew chief has to control it. And they're always doing some kind of training for the mission. So we have a lot of new soldiers, lower enlisted, and some new lieutenants that have never done this, and they're really uh, gaining a lot of value out of this training. We've set up several meetings with the local politicians, local business owners, uh, to better understand what takes place in the town of Marcy. And this correlates directly into our real world mission, which is infrastructure support. These guys have done it, this performance is going populous, and it's new for my fire department and the adjacent fire departments. But with the training between the two, they made it really easy with the Casback line to the Medivac 9 line. Seamless transition. Both fire departments and the town of Marcy have really accepted us in and, and cooperated to, in everything we've asked them to do. Uh, the National Guard, the aviators, been very user friendly and participating and uh, have helped us all along the way. It's a nice civil affairs opportunity for the Army. They've worked with the National Guard and the Federal First and the Area Fire Department. It creates a nice bond between the two departments, and if anything ever comes up, we know who we can call and trust.